Try this one on for size, folks. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is the best-selling Warriors game of all time. And it's not even close. And it pulled this off in less than three days. Holy crap. So, we do know the UK sales data came in. I didn't talk about it because I was waiting for um, more territories than just the UK. But it outsold the original Hyrule Warriors by 324 percent now this is the definitive edition that was on switch so little caveat there but still 324 percent sales increase during launch over hyrule warriors definitive edition on switch that already was an indication this game was doing gangbusters but again uk is a relatively small territory for overall game sales especially for something that has a grander appeal in japan and possibly out in north america while we don't have exact sales data yet for japan Japan sales data arrives in two days, maybe. Yeah, no, it should still arrive. They, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So, yeah, it should be here in two days. The big deal here is that Koei Tecmo has revealed the actual launch sales for the game, which is just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And holy crap. Holy crap. According to Koei Tecmo, who was talking to Famitsu Magazine, the sales the sales total is over three million in sales now this is combined digital and physical it has sold over three million copies previously hyrule warriors was the best-selling warriors game at just over one million copies out on the wii u slash 3ds so this is insanely good for a warriors game and that's just launch by the time we get through the holiday period here, it could easily be a 5, possibly 10 million seller. Now, the other best-selling games are essentially Dynasty Warriors. You know, That's the primary Warriors series. Uh, there is a one particular game in that series that sold pretty well, almost a million units. Dragon Quest Warriors did decent. Fire Emblem Warriors did okay. Hyrule Warriors is at the top. And I think One Piece Warriors was the other one that actually did fairly good. But in general, Warriors games have a hard time cracking a million sales no matter how many platforms they're on. This is a single platform Warriors game selling 3 million copies. Clearly, the hype for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is real. I mean, this is probably going to end up outselling even Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And we all know about the hype train that that game was heading in the launch. So this is insane. Obviously, the game is selling well on the back of the premise of what this game is. It is supposedly being advertised, not directly stated, but very heavily hinted at, this being an official prequel to Breath of the Wild. Now, I have not finished story mode. I believe I have just crossed the halfway point or a little bit past the halfway point. I have all four champions, all that. So it, it, things are going well, and I expect to have this beat before the week is out review hopefully by the end of the week but here's the thing i am supremely impressed so far with what i have played and i feel like this is the part that is getting people is there is just enough story to balance out the gameplay and you don't have to do all the side missions i understand doing all the side missions might get a little tedious but how often they introduce new characters is actually pretty refreshing now they they do this in all high warriors games but every character feels supremely unique this time around there often is a tendency in warrior games over the years where a lot of characters feel very similar you get a similar gameplay style a similar vibe this happens obviously in like fire emblem games sometimes as well but that's not the case here with this game each character so far and i'm all the way up through hetsu at this point is extremely unique in their move sets even if they use the same basic controls kind of like in super smash bros you know they have like the same basic controls but extremely unique move sets for most of the characters that's the case here and it's making it very refreshing to play in addition to it being refreshing to play, there is a lot of story. There's a ton of story, to be completely honest in this, and a lot to see in terms of just exploring the world of Hyrule before it was destroyed. So this is a game that is doing numbers I expected, but almost shouldn't have been expected just because of, you know, it being a Warriors game. Warrior games don't sell like this. They don't have appeal like this. But Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is different. And I knew something was different when I had a very difficult time picking up this game in my area. I have never in the lifetime of Switch had any problem without a pre-order picking up a physical copy of a game 
day one. Even if, like, Walmart would be sold out, because traditionally Walmart is sold out day one, like it was for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, it was sold out day one, but not every retailer in my area was, right? So Walmart always sells out because they have a deal with Nintendo where all games are $10 cheaper at launch, so it's cheapest to get it at Walmart, so they people are catching on to that now, so games, you know, sell out at Walmart. But Target, Best Buy, GameStop, all of them sold out of this game. See, 3D All-Stars, you could still walk into several stores day one in the morning and get the game. You could only go to GameStop to do that. If you were not at the opening of Target and Walmart, you were not getting a copy of the game from those places. Same with Best Buy. I know because I went to all three of those places in person in the middle of a pandemic to try to get one. Because my local GameStop didn't open till noon, and I didn't want to wait till noon to play the game. So I tried. No. Well, sold out everywhere. Go to GameStop. They had a ton of copies. They had 35 pre-orders and 40, I think it was 47 extra copies of the game to sell to consumers. And there was a line of people waiting to get the game when the store opened. That doesn't happen anymore. We don't see lines like this. Not in the pandemic, not unless it's a console launch. Well, guess what, folks? By 2 p.m., just two hours after the store opened, All the extra copies of Hyrule Warriors were sold out at that GameStop as well. Within two hours. I knew at that moment, something's going on with this game. This game is selling numbers I didn't even imagine. Here's the thing. I thought this was just a one-off in my area. Because I'm I'm from a relatively small town area. There's not like a big city. Like I can see in cities where things might sell out more often. That doesn't happen in my area. Well, so I took to Twitter. And it turns out people were noticing sellouts all over the country, all over the United States, this game was selling out physically. Obviously, you don't sell out digitally. It, that's insane to me. This game, guys, this game is Nintendo's holiday game. I was worried about their holiday game being a Warriors game, be, being a, a spinoff that might be canon in the timeline, but still, it's a spinoff nonetheless. This was a game they kept under wraps. There were zero rumors about the existence of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Absolutely none. There was nothing out there remotely hinting that this game existed until it was announced. Kudos to Nintendo and Koei Tecmo for keeping it under wraps. But holy crap, guys. I I don't know what else to say other than, hey, we got to give a round of applause. Congrats, Nintendo and Koei Tecmo. You guys did it. I I honestly was scared about this being the holiday game. I guess I was worried for nothing because this game is taking off. And who knows when it's going to stop. Who knows? It might be the hypest of hype games until Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. In fact, Breath of the Wild 2 might even increase hype for this game if there's ever a reference in any of the trailers to something that only happens in Age of Calamity versus happening in Breath of the Wild. This could be a real trilogy. Now, again, I got to complete the game to get my final thoughts in, so I can't give any opinions on that at this time. Uh, Remember, Nintendo never called it a prequel, but they treated it like one. We'll see. Some of you guys already know. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.